again we are still here at factory expo home centers in ocala florida and we are right now going to zip through this chariot eagle 2024 hulk series and remember you can get a hulk series you can get a hulk elite so on and so forth the hulk elite has the beefed up wall insulation to r19 uh but this is a moreau if you buy this exact unit sitting here as it is off this lot, it's $75,866. This is a 480 square foot, two bedroom, one and a half bath. And this home normally is $96,382. If you buy this model by November 30th, 75866. If you buy a model by November 30th, not this one, but you buy one by November 30th, 87,491 is the price. Meaning you can pick your upgrade starting at yes. 87,491. Right. 12 by 42 park model. This is a park model, except in Alabama, this is considered a manufactured home because it is above 400 square feet. But after the 1130, 2023, the price is this starting price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're standing here in the main room. We, When you walk in the sliding door, you have a TV stand, TV stand here. You've got a little hideaway for your cables. You've got some cabinet space. You've got a space to put your receiver, your DVD player, whatever you want. In the very front of this home, oh, I love these ceiling fans. Three blade. Squirrel. <laughs> Sorry about the squirrel. Uh, walk through here. You have a front bedroom or office or nursery or playroom or guitar room. You can put guitars. You can put guitars. And this is eight foot, excuse me, eight foot ceilings right there? Yeah, eight foot ceilings with a crown molding. Up, you know, nice baseboard. Pocket doors throughout this place. And this has a half bath. It has a Corian countertop with a um, ceramic sink. Nice cabinets, soft clothes. And here you have cabinets built in. Perfect for an office or an ex. You could use this as a wardrobe for clothes. That's what it looks like. Yeah, that's how it's set up as a wardrobe. Back out here in the main room, you can see they've got some furniture in here configured. You got lots of light coming through these windows. You've got your air ventilation, your return air box here, cabinet here. Corian counter here, some cabinets over here. You could hook something up here, make this a charging station, put a microwave or a, whatever you want, like some other appliance, toaster oven, whatever you might need. And this area would be a good place for like a little four seater table, right? Yeah, you could you could squeeze in a table here easily. And then you spot for your fridge. These come standard, as I've said in all these videos, 18 cubic foot with a range that is a coil top range and a space saver microwave. This one, <clears throat> you can upgrade. This one has some upgrades like the Corian countertops. This uh, seamless sink. Whoa, I've never felt that before. Because it's a Corian sink. Yeah, the Corian sink is in there. I am just amazed at that. that there is no seam to worry about leaking or anything like that. Microwave range area extra plenty of drawers only thing is this is what tammy and i would refer to as a one buck kitchen and 
that section, right? Yeah, especially in this section. Go wander over here uh, next to your breakfast area. So if you're in here and you're cooking and you're working, you're doing your thing, you're making dinner, the other people should stay in this side of the house. Right. In that room, if they have to go to the bathroom or sit and watch TV or do something, don't go take a nap or anything like that because then you have to go past somebody that's working, and that would be a little aggravating. There's where your uh, hookup for your thermostat's going to be. This one has a nice, good-sized bathroom. This one's got a full-size uh, shower, no tub. I'm sure you can get a tub. And it's got the paneled walls that look like tile. It's got a large uh, vanity and with extra drawers and storage. Oh, and yeah, those are. And you've got your uh, heating and air conditioning ducts are in the ceiling. So again, with the pet hair and dander that gets into floor ducts, you don't have to worry about that in this home. Your walls are a nice uh, orange, peel? orange peel, lemon peel, uh, lemon. not banana peel. Wow, look at that. Nice little cabinet there. Okay. I'm in a haunted house now. There's your back door behind and back door and your laundry space. And I just noticed behind you where the panel is, the panel box. Again, this is a hundred amp service, but you have a whole house ventilation. Nice. So we've had a couple of people asking about ventilation on these homes. This one comes with a ventilation system which I don't know a lot of details about but we'll see what we can find out and this bedroom I just love the look of this bedroom the way it's laid out it's amazing to me you have his and hers closets I like it. you have tons of storage here look at that mm -hmm. tons of storage with a Corian top here but you shouldn't have a solid solid um, bed headboard there um, yeah it covers, some of your covers your window yeah, and you get the two nightstands that have three drawers and Corian not top. A one nightstand, guys. Not to be confused with that. Yeah, it's not a one <laughs> nightstand. It's two nightstand. <laughs> and cabinets above the bed. Did you show them in the sconces and everything? Yes. And then you've got the six panel doors over on your closets, and they are set up with two of the closet made shelving hanger situations. You put your Shirts up here and your pants down there, just like we do at our house. Shirts down here and your pants up there. <laughs> Corian space here, you'd have to opt for maybe a smaller TV if you're a TV watching person. But there are five drawers here. And again, keep saying this, I have to pull them out far enough to engage. Well, maybe these don't have soft clothes on this in, might, in the back. Yeah. In the front they do, but not, not back here. And the other closet's the same. Um, it is set up. A mirror image of the other one. Right? I can get the door open. Yep, mirror image, just like that. Again, your crown moldings, your baseboards, Corian tops. This has got some luxurious upgrades in it, and that, of course, will add to your price if you opt for all of them. Uh, it's got the except for the current price if you buy this one as it's yeah, yeah. You're week. getting a great deal because you're getting all these upgrades. Right, and it doesn't have a law. Just no standard. loft. Eight foot ceiling configuration, one level. Two bedrooms, one and a half baths. Great for entertaining. Love this couch. You should see how it sits here. Oh, and well, I'm, I'm not worried about it because I won't be buying the couch. Yeah, I know, but I'm just saying it, it's really nice looking here. Oh, it's like squishy. Is it squishy? Squishy and rocky. <laughs> <laughs> What is this? This is something they were going to put together and they haven't finished putting it together? Yeah, it looks like a cabinet to go somewhere. They haven't I, built it in yet. I don't know that this comes with it or not, guys. We don't know this. It's, it's a matching It's it's a matching it's cabinet. Matching. So It matches, so they may be going to put it in, in here sure. somewhere in there. But anyway, amazing home. This is the Moreau or M-A-R-O-T, however you say that, Marot, Marot, Marot.
this is Chariot Eagle Series Eagle Loft in Orwell. And if you buy this one right here on the lot, this one by November 30th, it's 90196 If you typically buy an Orwell, not like this, this one, not this one off the lot, this one bedroom, one, one bath, 12 by 35 ANSI RV park model, typically is 111733 but they are on sale if you were to get one built starting at 94849 and Tammy's going to take you through the kitchen show you some of the features as I talk about some of the things we've talked about in our other videos that you may not know if this is the only video you're watching but <clears throat> Chariot Eagle makes RV park models manufactured homes those definitions change based on where you live. Like if you're in Alabama, it's certain sizes are considered manufactured homes. In Florida, all of them are considered park models. Some of them are considered RV park models. Some of them are HUD approved, some are not. This one is, is an RV park model, which is not a HUD home. It means it's 400 square feet or less. And yes, this one is 399 square feet. They typically use uh, bat insulation, which is your fiberglass with the paper, and that turns off people sometimes, but I'm gonna tell you, they told us the story about using the spray insulation. They said that they had done it for quite a while, and they were having issues with people's power bills being higher than they expected, and they got me investigating, and what was happening was the foam in the ceilings in particular was breaking loose during the transit and blowing itself back. You know, your roofs, they got bending and everything like that. They blow itself all the way to one side. It wasn't stable for the tra transit. Now, I don't know exactly what brand or type of spray insulation they were using, but it could be anything. Um, so that spray insulation they were using was breaking loose and fragmenting and blowing around and causing issues so they went to bat insulation. Their standard line of any home that they sell has 30 in the ceiling, 11 in the walls, and 22 in the floor. You can upgrade to their Hawk Elite series, which you can still get these homes. You can get an Orwell Eagle Loft in an Elite series but it has 19 in the floor. I'm, I'm sorry, 19 in the wall. So Tammy's taking you around the kitchen with the laundry room with the bifold door. This one has the upgrade of the better microwave and the forum style sink. The bathroom is a little smaller than in the Arroyo or whatever model we, we really like because uh, it's a little pocket door for the bathroom. But the bathroom is smaller because you may have to make space for the stairs. But the bathroom does have some storage, little cabinets underneath the vanity and a little medicine cabinet in the wall, pocket door, standard toilet, one piece shower unit, no tub, and it has a cabinet over the toilet. Pocket door into the bedroom, as Tammy will show you here in a minute, but they sealed all these doors closed so they can you know, move the mobile homes without the doors slamming and having problems. Now this unit, there's your 100 amp, your two sconces. And we talked about this in video number one here at Expo, that uh, you'd have to really cram in a bed in here. Are these mobile homes? You said they were mobile homes. No, no, not these. No. Okay, these so are, we just said RV, RV park model. So it's mobile. Yes. So sorry, guys. It's a home, yes, but it's not a right. Tiny, any mobile. tiny home is mo well if it has wheels. It's mobile. It's mobile. Uh, you got your closet here with your VOG wall panels in it, and you have double farm doors and they're going to tilt out a little bit because the home's not level of course 
See, the magic. There we go. I did that using the force. I told the door to close. I went, mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that what it was? <laughs> like Luke, Luke Skywalker. Got a little space here if you want to put a television or something like that. You don't have a ton of room. You got this wall you can put a television on. But you've got uh, really nice cabinets with, with the soft clothes drawers for your chest of drawers, if you'd like to see that. So you've got plenty of room for your clothes and things like that. This is a lofted model. It does cost a little more to deliver a lofted model because it requires different transport requirements in Florida. You have to have double escorts and things like that. So I'm sure they're going to touch these walls up. They look like plenty of people have visited and, and kicked them and scuffed them. Yeah, I would probably... Or not walls, but the uh, stairwell. I would probably think twice before painting my kickboards white. Or, well, it's a flat paint, too. I yeah, or I would have everybody that walks in my house take their shoes off. I, you know, I don't know. But Tammy's showing you loft. It's, it's uh, plenty of room up there. We've talked about it multiple times. If you don't want to sleep up there, just put your grandkids up there. Put your family when they come over. You can use them as a uh, home office. You can use them as a crafting area. You just need to buy a rolling loft stool that I'm in the process of manufacturing right now. It's selling at exorbitant prices. Uh, no, but uh, they do, you can get you a stool that's short and roll around up there and make an office craft room, anything you want. It's, it's all up to your imagination. Again, 2024 Chariot Eagle. The series is Eagle Loft. The name is Orwell 399 square feet, RV park model. And they do not set up, they help you find a contractor wherever you deliver to set up. This is a factory direct place. So they don't do financing. They don't do a lot of setup, but they do the delivery. So we hope you enjoyed this one. We have maybe one, maybe two more to go through. So we're going to get onto those and hang in there. Hi guys, this is the very last one that we're going to show you here, I believe, at factory expo this again we're not going to show you too much and i'll tell you why this is another orwell and if you've watched the videos of this series we've seen two orwells this one does not have the porch it's much like the second home in the first video at factory expo um, but we're going to tell you about this one the price ninety thousand one ninety six. if you buy the one as it sits normally they're $99,605. This is a one bedroom, one bath, 12 by 35 ANSI model, which makes it a park, a RV park model. Um, $87,024 is their starting price if you build your own. Uh, this one has some upgrades. That's why the sale price is higher than their normal price. So don't freak out about that. But again, this one, I like the fact that they're, they put you a highlight wall in here with blue, that blue paint. And then it's more of a mauve gray in the rest of the home or, or the main part of the home. Upgrades, I'm not 100% sure what I see. I know they got a farm sink. They put a dishwasher in this one, which the homes don't normally come with a dishwasher, so they put a dishwasher in. Um, again, with all your soft clothes, your crown molding, your floor base molding. Orwell. Yeah, Orwell. They like their Orwells. So we're just going to zip through real quick. But again, you've got the blue wall back here with with the other color on the, you know, sort of an accent wall. But these do have the smaller bed, bedroom space. They do have the vents in the floor. And the vents in the floor because it's a lofted model. They don't run the vents up top. And that's about it we're going to do for this one, I think. I mean, Tammy's shown you the loft before in two of them. It's very much the same. You can fit lots of space up there. I mean, you have lots of space to fit whatever you want up there. Plenty of storage. You've got storage over your cabinets. 
you've got your nice pedestal lights coming over your bar area and all those those features that the Orwell has. We're really pedestal lights. Sometimes you say things that pedestal. are like so oh. incorrect. You know what a pedestal is? Oh yeah. What do you call these? These are just uh hanging lights? Sconce light. No. Oh my gosh. See, you can't tell me that. <laughs> Pendant. That's the word. Hey guys, thanks for watching our tour here at Factory Expo. If you've liked what we have done, hit that like button. We really enjoy doing this, and your support helps us to continue doing it. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. If you are subscribed and you really like what we do, hit the share button and share it on Facebook, share it on Instagram, whatever other social media you use, just hit the share button. It's a couple of real easy steps just to share it wherever you use social media so we can get more people to watch our content so we can continue to tour around and look at all these homes and get more and more ideas for us and more ideas for you. We hope you have a good evening, morning, day or night, wherever you're at. And thanks for watching. Have a good one.